Toastmasters is where leaders are made. Let me let you in on a little secret. The true iron will of a leader is forged fire and hope. So, Toastmaster and my influential Toastmaster friends, that's why I'm here to tell you today that if you have an opening in your organization, you need to hire a dad. Why, just a few short years as a dad has taught me more about leadership than I could have ever dreamed. Now, just imagine if you were me, you showed up in your next interview with a resume like mine. Well, Mr. Chilson, excellent qualifications, experience, education, just what we're looking for. There's other nice skills we see here that uh, really caught our attention. We'd like to know a little bit more about this first one here: um, uh, bomb disposal. <laughs> just tell us a little more about that. It's the demolition experience in your resume. Thank you for asking, sir. You misunderstand a little bit. Have you ever been up at three o'clock in the morning after rocking a crying baby back to sleep? an hour, and then gently tiptoed across the room, littered with toys, in the dark, mind you, and put that baby back in the crib? Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Don't cry. <laughs> yes! That, sir, takes nerves of steel. Uh, Mr. Chilson, uh, okay. The second one here, since you're a master of arbitration and negotiation, could you explain a little bit more about that? Yes, sir, thank you for asking. Are you familiar with the Jackson County Brick Wars? Uh, no, Mr. Chilson, is that some sort of labor dispute? No, my kids are fighting over Legos. Well, one kid is tearing apart a 10,000-piece Star Wars Millennium Falcon so that he can build a unicorn big enough to ride on. <laughs> Diplomacy is called for. Stonewalling, silent treatment, tantrums. I have seen every negotiation tactic known to man. And in my house, I have kept the peace. Shilson. Okay. Now, we just got to ask you about this third one here. It says here you are published in the Scientific Journal of Historic Anthropology. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for asking. Technically, I'm not published yet. It seems my paper still caught up somewhere in peer review because they believe it's based on mainly anecdotal evidence. But I know my hypothesis is sound. Arcane times. In 500 BC, the Greeks invented the passive. See, when all the babies settle down and stop crying, all of a sudden, men Think, that was the birth of philosophy. Not only that, think of all the other contributions ancient Greece made to art, architecture, mathematics. This was the golden age of fatherhood. <sighs> Sadly, sir, turned tragic. The Romans discovered it. They realized the pacifier was actually a weapon of war. All these content babies meant that Men could go on these longer and longer military expeditions. With a pacifier, the Romans were able to take over the entire Western world. Now, at this moment, probably complete surprise to you as much as it is to me, every one of my interviews has ended with the same strange dialogue. Well, Mr. Chilson, you certainly have some uh, interesting qualifications. We don't believe you're a good fit for this job. We need someone that can critically evaluate creative ideas.